Time for a quick ride around our mall. It's a shell of its former self, for sure. I'm going to ride all the way around the outside of it so you get an idea how big it is. I just screwed up. Thought I could come through. How bad is that? I can make that. I thought that thing went all the way out there, but I guess it didn't. That whole area back there used to be Sears and the Automotive Center. That's gone. I mean, there's still a decent amount of places in the mall, but there's a there's easily as many empties as there are full full spots. This still would have been Sears. Until up here at the mall entrance, it was all Sears. Then you got Fridays, pretty good place to eat. I mean, the mall is a pretty big building. Just doesn't have a lot in it now. I'm just going to stick with the main building. I'm not going to go to all the other places around it. This is a big empty area. Used to be Macy's. Yeah, I think it used to be LS Airs before that. It's taken on some life of its own, I guess. That's part of it still. Up here is the entrance to the food court. And there's really not much in there. There's like two two restaurants. I mean, nothing at all like the big mall, the Opry Mills Mall in Nashville, which was really full. Really impressive, too. Here's part of J.C. Penney until they close. Hopefully they don't, but you never know. I think if they close, the whole place would close. I think the whole place only has about just a few years left anyway. Before it closes down for good. This town just can't generate like it used to. That concludes this video. This is right back where I started from.